On your mobile, you may use some application that contains different tabs, and you can navigate from one tab to another with just a single click. Tab page is a page that contains different tabs and each tab has its own title and own content depending upon the type and logic of an application. A tab page is similar to a navigation page in that it allows for and manages simple navigation between several child page objects. The difference is that generally speaking, each platform displays some sort of bar at the top or bottom of the screen that displays most, if not all, of the available child page objects. In Xamarin Forms applications, a tab page is generally useful when you have a small predefined number of pages that users can navigate between, such as a menu or a simple wizard that can be positioned at the top or bottom of the screen script. On iOS, the list of tabs appears at the bottom of the screen, and the detail area is above. On Android, the list of tabs appears at the top of the screen, and the detail area is below. Each tab consists of a title and an icon, which should be a PNG file with an alpha channel. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms tabbed page. 2. Change to position of the tab pages using toolbar placement. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Here I created a blank page project. The default is a content page. So let's change this to tabbed page. In the code behind, we should also change the parent of the class to tabbed page. Back in our XAML file. Let's add child or tab to the pages. Here is the title of the page. And these are the two tabs we've added, which are two content pages. And these are the icon for each content page. The icons are stored in the resources folder of the Android. So whenever we tap the tab page, it will instantly jump to child element of the page. In most real world applications, the content of each page is more than just a label. So chances are, your pages get complex. In that case, it's better to implement each tab to a separate XAML file and simply reference it here. Let's remove this and add a separate page for each tab page. Here I added courses and about pages. Now let's reference these on our main page. Here, I've added an XML namespace because we are gonna use a type that is not part of the standard XAML and called in local by convention. And these codes here, we reference an external page's name, about in courses. Let's run the app. Here the pages are independent of each other. So whenever we add more content to each page, we don't have to do it all on main page, we can work on each page separately. Another thing we could do here is to change the position and color of the tab page.
This line changes the back color of the tab bar. The selected tab color is the color of the tab when it's selected or active. While the unselected tab color is the color when it's unselected. And to position the tabs at the bottom of the screen, we add a new XML namespace to the project called Platform Configuration. Android Specific. And its assembly is Xamarin, Form, Core. So we can set the toolbar placement on a tabbed page, with the toolbar placement enumeration providing values default, this is the top of the page on the phones, and the bottom of the page on other device idioms. Top and bottom. And this line hides the navigation bar of the page. But we don't actually needed this because we didn't set value for the title of the main page. But I leave it for your reference. Let's run the app again. There you have it. In my next video lesson, I will demonstrate how to create a carousel page. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.